One year ago today, San Diegans mourned the death of Tony Gwynn. And just a few hours ago at Petco Park, his wife and friends announced they have fulfilled his last dream, creating a college baseball tournament that will be played right here in San Diego. You know, even though it may seem like a sad day, it's really a ce celebration. Alicia Gwynn stood next to her husband's memorial at Petco Park with a story about the baseball legend's last dream. And before he passed, he talked to me about it. And he said, please don't let it die. Keep believing in me. The eight-time National League batting champion wanted to establish a college baseball tournament. Tony saw it as a way for San Diego to be really put on the map nationally, college baseball-wise. This is what Tony talked about all the time after he'd come home from a game about this b baseball classic. And this was one of the ultimate things that he wanted to accomplish. Little did we know that Tony wouldn't be with us more than about six and a half months or so. But Gwynn's dream didn't die with him. His wife and friends followed through creating the Tony Gwynn Classic. I know this classic is going to be a tremendous classic. 12 games with teams from all over the U.S. starting next February. I want every team in this country, if they get asked to come and play in the Tony Gwynn Classic, they're going to jump at the chance to do that. Aztecs coach Mark Martinez choked up when talking about number 19 and his passion for the young players Gwynn coached. We, we all call him coach because he was a teacher. <clears throat> and that's what he loved to do. Trying to teach them not just baseball, not baseball, the game of life. We don't want Tony to be forgotten ever. A hero on the field and off the field. And today, Mayor Faulkner declared the week of February 19th Tony Gwynn Week. It'll kick off the inaugural tournament, which will take place February 26th through the 28th. Oh.